<laughs> oh my god. I'm watching this one with Scaramucci. And they asked him, well, do you think that uh, Trump is a good moral compass for, for your kids? He says, well, you can't fake good kids like he's got <laughs> good kids. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> They're money laundering, setting up back channels to Russia, <laughs> basically treason. This is his good kids. This is what he's putting on a pet. I wonder if this guy actually believes all the crap he's spouting. Is he really that deluded or is he just really out to for the money? I mean, because I've never seen anybody with his nose so far up the, the Trump's butt. I mean, really, he's uh, the biggest yes man I've ever seen out there. And he only lasted in the White House 11 days because he's absolutely, <laughs> I don't know. I can't look at the guy. He reminds me of a little weaselly rat, you know. He's like, you <laughs> can't get what it is. <laughs> And he just talks such nonsense, always just such nonsense about Trump is so, you know, you would, you would think, excuse this, this is gross, but you would think Trump is farting rose blossoms from, from this guy. He's got his nose so far up this butt. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I'm just like, are you kidding me? So it's like Scaramucci. I mean, the first time I saw him on there, it's like, I'm just appalled, appalled at this guy. What is, what is his nature? What is with this guy? I just, I am inquiring minds want to know. I mean, really, does he believe this nonsense? You know? He reminds me of some flunky that gets caught in the, in the uh, you know, with the mafia or something. Some flunky there that idolizes them, you know. <laughs> I'm getting no respect. <laughs> Somebody that sees that as just, you know, because they get a warped perception. I mean, you listen to these kids of these mob bosses, and their their idea is uh, totally skewed. The police are terrible, and law and order is terrible, and the, you know the only right thing to do is not be a snitch, don't be a squealer, you know, uphold the the thievery, uphold the, you know, that's their that's their uh, truth and honor. Okay. You uphold the nefarious dealings, okay, and you don't give it out, okay. Ah, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Scottamucci, he thinks he's a dandy. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. He's got a surprise. I think he's more looking for a surprise than he has a surprise. <sighs> I think maybe he just, you know, does it out of boredom or whatever for the attention. You know, sees what kind of thing he can throw in there. He's just... Lord have mercy. You just wonder, I mean, all the ones that Trump has, the surrogates, they're all out there and all of them will just lie through their teeth. Like Kellyanne Conway, before she started working for him, she had nothing to good to say about Trump. And the minute she started working with him, I mean, the sun rose on his face every morning. These people have absolutely no backbone or morals anywhere. Yeah. 
He's there just to put out this around the maypole that put out this energy. <laughs> it's like, you know, some game he's doing. You know, there's a big fight. Oh, I'm in this fight and I'm going to win and I'm battling. I'm battling. For... He actually believes this crap. And then, yeah, and then the money, you know, for the money too. Ups and down, and he's playing the game. When I see that, it's kind of like, okay, off my nut, nutcase, playing the game, got some money. <sighs> yeah. This guy's just, uh, yeah. Just like, you know, got the wands, which is the energy, putting it towards those things. It's like a little fiery dude out there. <laughs> okay, it looks like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, devilish fire maker. It's trouble. Creating trouble. Stirring stuff up. Okay. Putting that energy and ideas out to stir stuff up. Okay. Oh, he wants to think. He's in leadership. And then he's aiding the leadership. Really? Is he such a big help to Trump? Just really aiding the leadership. Mercy, 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 mercy. Guys, too much, too much. Intuition. I think he's, you know, got this idea. If he backs him, again, if it backs him, he's going to get somewhere with stuff. I think he's just got this false view of Trump and idolizes him, you know, just like these people have this false view of Nietzscheananda and idolize him. And they don't look at what's behind the scenes. They don't want to see it. 100% they don't want to see it. I think he's in the same genre as that type of nonsense. Doesn't want to see it. Okay. Really doesn't want to see it. Living in his fantasy realm. Yeah, thinks he's going to bring change. Oh, I'm going to help it. I'm going to get in there and give my two cents worth, and it's going to help everything and make change. <laughs> I'm right out there on the leading front. Yeah, I'm the Lord. He's full of himself, is what he. <laughs> he really thinks he's a lot more self-important than he than he is. As what well, so far it looks like in this reading that he really thinks he's very self-important to the whole thing. You know, I'm out here on TV. Look at me. Yeah, weaving that thinking, putting it out there, weaving a story. Yeah. Putting out Trump speak, weaving the story of Trump speak. Yeah. Thinks he's a big messenger, high flying messenger. Uh, 
High Flying Messenger. Cleaning up, corrupt, restoring balance, healing, correcting past mistakes. He really thinks he's out there doing something. <laughs> he's under the illusion and delusion that he's really helping Trump by his being there. He is so, Scott Amuch, you are so important. Lordy, Trump is so lucky to have you in his corner. <laughs> oh my God, this guy is so full of himself. I'm healing it. I'm fixing these past mistakes that the other people's made. You know, I'm so brilliant. I'm so brilliant in what I say. I believe and I succeed. I'm going out to the wind. I'm... <laughs> Oh my God, no, this guy's a true believer. He's a true believer. He is a true believer of Trump. Oh Lord, have mercy. He's a Trump bot. <laughs> Trump bot. <laughs> Scott Amooch, the Trump bot. Oh Lord, have mercy. Yeah, he's a Trump bot. He's out there just, you know, really thinking he's something because he's doing on TV and was in the White House for a few days. The other side, okay. I was in the outhouse, at the White House, in the outhouse, in <laughs> his outhouse. Oh, God. <laughs> Freudian slip there. Oh, that was a good one. He's in the outhouse for 11 days. No, it was in the White House for a, a, a number of days. Yeah, no, it's so bad there. It might as well be an outhouse. Just because there's a lot of crap going on in there. That's all you can say. It's the big outhouse. But no, he's it's a true believer. He's, you know, again, oh, look at what I can do, and I'm helping the leadership, and I'm, you know, out there telling and mending this, and I'm a big messenger out there. I'm willing to fight the fight. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, for the master. I'm working for the master. I'm working for Trump. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No, Scott Amooch. <laughs> He's really a true believer. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I think maybe I'd respect him more if he was just out for the money, but <laughs> because, Lord, yep, yeah, nope. Six of Wands, you know, I'm out there, been to war going to war. I've got my staff here and I'm going to go fight it out and put my energy out there in whatever way I need to. <laughs> I'm going to save this administration. <laughs> okay, Scott and Mooch. going to save them. No, just save us from the Mooch. <laughs> oh, God craziness craziness okay got reading this guy is <laughs> oh yeah but he's just you know again he wants to be involved in everything but he's kind of still out in the cold he's just kind of hanging in the wind out there so he's taking whatever he can get and thinking he's very self-important when he can get something out there but uh, really 
Trump's administration, everybody, it, everything, he's just hanging out there. <laughs> go play, Mooch. Go, go play. Go, go hang around out there. Do, <laughs> go hang around outside, Mooch. <laughs> go out and play. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm sorry, I can't, can't help it. He's just such a dipwad. Unbelievable. Life is a beach, okay? I'm out there with all the other surrogates, and, you know, we're making it all better. I'm going to make it all better. <laughs> oh, mercy. we have. Okay, Mooch. The cosmos, the creativity of vastness. Well, he's very creative, that's for sure. So he's, you know, the cosmos. Again, he's believing this whole alternative universe that Trump's got going. Them and their alternative facts, you know. Yeah, got the moon up there blowing all the nonsense out and creating these fantasies, and he's right up there with it, right up there. So, yeah, no, the mooch is a true believer. Really, he's a true believer. It's amazing, amazing. Crazy, but, yeah. Yeah, he's seeking. He's on his vision quest. I'm on my vision quest. I'm the light. I'm the light. Yes. Everyone needs to see the light. So <laughs> we're going to leave this here, but no, the mooch is actually, is sorry to say, but no, he's actually a true believer. <laughs> That's a little full of himself. Okay, he's a lot full of himself. Very self-important. Thinking he's making a huge change by what he's doing. And behind the scenes, they're all like going, yeah, whatever, Mooch, just go out and play. Okay, <laughs> go, go play. That's, that's nice. <laughs> so, namaste. Oh, Lord, a little levity. <laughs> 